After the Elementor 3.12 update, we got the brand new UI sporting that hot Elementor brand pink. Now, those are Elementor's brand colors, but what about if we want our own brand colors and we want to customize the editor the way that we want? Well, that's what we are going to do inside this video. I'm going to show you how to change everything. We're not going to use a plugin. It's going to be a few code snippets, but I'm going to walk you along the process, make a few little edits, and you're going to be able to build your own custom editor. All right, let's get started. To get started, I got a link inside the description, and it is to the blog post with the code snippets. So we have three snippets. All right, the first one, this is going to be a PHP snippet right here, and we need this for the editor side. That is going to be for this left side right over here. Now, if we go here, we got one for dark mode. All right, we got another one down here then for light mode. They are the exact same snippets except for a couple of things. One of them has lights right here and light right here. And then the other one that's in dark mode has dark right here and dark right here. So really, you only need one of these snippets and you would just have to change this from dark to light. But I added both of them just to make it a little bit more easy and I can show you how to use both of them just in a moment. The next one is going to be for the preview. That's going to be for the builder. So right inside here, you see the uh, pink borders right here and the, the pink tab. Also, this pink box right here. We're going to change all that with this snippet, and this is a CSS snippet. I'll show you where to put it and where to edit it. And if all this is looking a bit scary, don't worry. It actually is quite simple. I left a lot of instructions in here and simplified it a lot. It'll make sense by the time we're finished with this video. Now, first, we want to add the PHP snippets. Now, we could do this two ways. We're going to be using code snippets for this video, but you could also use a child theme and you could add the PHP and the functions.php in the child theme. For this one, though, we're going to simplify it. And I basically use code snippets now instead of a child theme. So yeah, that's what we're going to do here. So from here, I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to put the editor uh, UI light and I'll do the light version first. I'm going to go back over here to the blog post. Let me find it. I'm going to take the whole entire thing. I want to make sure I get all of those notes. Those notes are going to help guide you along for making your edits. I'm going to take that and I'm going to paste that inside here. Now with this, I'm going to click on save changes and activate. Next one, I'm going to add a new snippet and I'll put editor UI dark and I'm going to copy and paste the one for dark mode here. So let me copy this. All right. And let's paste it inside here. And then I'm going to save changes and activate. So I'm going to start off with the dark mode and let's take a look a little bit closer. We have a couple things here. Now, first, we're not going to touch any of this. Don't touch it. Leave it as it is. When you see these tags right over here, these marks, this is for comments. And this is where we're looking for for our notes. So you can see here, we're going to edit everything down here. Now, I have labels for everything and I've, you know, basically marked everything to help identify what you're going to be changing. Now, first thing is the editor background. That is going to be this whole editor right here. So let's say I change this. So I'm going to delete this right here where it says add your color here. When you do remove it, make sure to get rid of this slash and star. So let me take that out. I'm going to change this to red just to make it stand out so you could uh, really see it. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And you see right there, now we have the red bar. So what I would do is I would pull out my brand colors and I would go ahead and use those. So let me add my brand colors in here. All right, I'm going to replace that red. I got to make sure I got that hashtag in there and I'll save changes. I'm using my brand black right here. OK, we got a lot going on. You can see things are, you know, starting to stand out. We could change all that. If this is too dark for you, you don't like the contrast, you can make it a lighter gray or like a dark gray. Like, let's say I don't like the contrast right there. I'm going to change this to something like, uh, let me see, three, three, three. All right. Save changes. 
And this is one of the common issues that a lot of people had was just it was too dark and the contrast was hurting some people's eyes. All right, so that is the first one. I'm gonna take it back and put my brand colors there because I'm making this for myself as well. The next one is gonna be the header and footer areas. All right, so that is going to be up here at the top, the background right here, and the controls right down over here. So the first one we're going to see, you're gonna see the background. So I'm gonna put the dark background. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, the color text, the text color. Now I want to use this lighter mint green that is part of our brand colors. I want to change the text color right here. And then this one right here is gonna be a text color on hover. So I want it to get a little bit darker. I'm gonna use my darker mint green right here. I'm gonna copy that and I am going to paste that right here. Let's go ahead and save changes and see what we got now. So check this out. We got this bottom right here. It looks pretty dope. We got like these green icons going on up here at the top too. We got this, you know, I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. This dark background is too dark for me. So let me go over to one of my dark but lighter colors right here and this is what you would do as well with this go through one by one get used to each one of them and just go ahead and edit them and see how they look so let's check this out now yeah it's got like that dark purple right here that kind of joker feel all right now let's keep going we got the next one right here this is the big one that big pink let's go ahead and get rid of it this is for the button right down here this update button so let's say uh let me delete that let me add something here now it's not showing here and we got these white lines and the reason why is when we do add the snippet in you can see here we are commenting out all of the styles so all the styles have been removed but if i go here let's say i turn off the snippet so it's not loading if i refresh this yeah let me just go ahead and reload it's gonna be back to normal here. And if we do something, you know, we're gonna get that hot pink right there. So that's the only reason why we're not seeing any of it. So let me turn this back on. And I'm gonna go here now, I'm gonna change this button. I'm gonna do the same thing on active right here. And then I'm gonna do this lighter green for hover, just to give it a little bit of a hover effect. Change that. And now I'm gonna save changes and let's check this out. Yeah, let's reload that again. Let me go ahead and turn that off and check this out. Now we got our own control color. We got our own button. So everything is starting to fit. Let's go back through it again. We got quite a few and went through this really thoroughly. All right, so the next one is we got our widget colors on hover. So when you hover over these, we could give it its own color. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna make a stand out of it. Let me. I'm probably not going to use this on my own template, but just to play around with it. All right, so here's the hover. I'm gonna do the same for hover and active. And this all could be worked and helped out for the accessibility as well, making it easier to identify. Let me first update that. Let's refresh this. And you can see now when we hover, we got different colors. Now, let me go back over here to the next one. We have the widget border colors. And you can see now we have the different border colors. Now, as you're going through it, you're gonna be styling it up and taking time on it. I could already see that this color scheme isn't working for me. I do wanna to go to my dark black. So, you know, for me, I do like the high contrast. It doesn't hurt my eyes, but that's just me. We're all different. And this is the reason why I feel it's important that we're able to stylize and customize our own editor to give us that option where we can, you know, create something that works for us in our workflow. All right, this is looking kind of dope right here. I do want, but the blue borders are throwing me off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create something a bit lighter for the borders. Uh, I don't really need to see them and I'm not going to geek out too much longer because it's going to be too long of a video if I do. All right, cool. I'm going to leave it at that. Now, next one, the search and focus that is going to be up here, this search box. So we could go ahead and give it a color. I'm going to give it this light green 
and let me save my changes and see what we got now and now we got the green search box let me first fix up something i do want to fix the uh widget border color so let me change that up i'm gonna give it a full black and green style right here that way everything just looks consistent all right this is cool for me right here all right next up over here we got the text selector this is the one that i know for me i was feeling the pain and i know a lot of others are feeling the pain so this is basically let's go here all right when we hover over it you know when we try to click and drag it over i can't see it you know like that's the thing i can't see what is being selected when i drag my cursor over so let's change the background color on it I'm gonna put this darker green because I do want to have some contrast to it uh, for accessibility. And let's go ahead and do that one. Save it right here, refresh it, and let's go back and use our selector. Now we could see when we drag over some text. That one, I know a lot of people are gonna dig. That was one of the biggest complaints. All right, text color. So for me, the default text color was kind of grayish, too gray for me. I like my text to stand out. So it's totally up to you. Maybe all white is too much, but at least we have the option now to uh, change our text color. At least it's not gray. Okay, next up over here, we are going to change the link hover and the global style indicator if i were to turn this off right here let me just turn that off and let's update this and refresh it all right if i look at this you see it's pink if i'm using a global style this way we could carry the brand consistency so i'm going to copy and paste that right here and now if i go here check this out now it's green right over here and also, we also have green toggles as well. So this is like just fully branding this all for yourself. Next up, all right, the info link color. You can see if we're like to add a container right over here that you have these little links. And these are just the small little things, but look at, we could go ahead and change this as well. And now you see we're carrying that brand consistency all right next up let's go down here to the border color in the widget and this is going to be you know inside here inside the editor so you got all these borders right here maybe you want more contrast you want to be able to see things more in here maybe you want to give it a complete unique style i'm going to keep consistent with our brand green right over here let me put this in and check this out now we have our own border colors in here even the slider uh colors right over here all of this changes and we just have one thing left and that is going to be the controllers so those are going to be like right over here let's go to our container and we have these controllers now by default they're like a uh, light gray but if we were to put say our brand color inside here now if we go into our controllers you can see we have our own brand colors, a complete different experience right here. So that's all that's needed to be done to edit that. Now, if you do have light mode, let me go over to my snippets. I'm going to turn this one off because now I'm gonna to go to my light. You're gonna do the same exact thing in light mode. You're just gonna have it on light and change the colors and just go one by one. But to show you how this works, I'm gonna to go to my background and I am gonna turn this, let me see, I'm gonna just turn this purple so it's easy to identify. And now if I were to change it to light in my system settings, you'll see that the light styles are being applied. So one thing to note though with this is it only works I found going light and dark in my system settings. It might just be what I have on this device right here. Uh, I was hoping by using the preference would work, but I had some issues with this. So if you do keep it on auto detect and you just, you know, style it up for both, you should be good. Let me know how it works for you though. So the editor is all good, but now we need to change this up because we got these pink borders and you know, these are still looking very pink, so check it out. Let's go here. I'm gonna use a customize for this, and I found 
this just works best in the customize. Now, you could go ahead and put it inside your site settings and custom CSS, but I found that I was having some uh, caching issues. So to avoid those caching issues, I would put it inside the customizer, but that is completely your call. Uh, let me go here now and to copy and paste it. We're gonna go down here to the preview builder. Let's copy and paste this whole thing. And I am gonna drop it right inside here. Now, I got some notes here. Let me delete this right here, this duplicate. All right, there's some notes right over here. It shows where to edit and then where to stop editing. We're only going to edit these three right here. Everything else below, we don't touch. Leave it as it is. We do need it here though in order for it to work. Now we got our primary, our hover, and our active. I am going to use my light green right over here as my primary because I'm using a dark theme on my website. Uh, but this is totally up to you. Play around with it, but check it out. This is all we need to do to change this and to put our own colors and not have to use paint. And then I am going to use this dark green for my hover. All right, I'm gonna go here now, same thing, replace that. And let me go ahead and publish. And then I am going to refresh it and check it out. It's all green, it's all my brand color right here all 100% branded. We could go in here, we could play around with it, have fun with it, do whatever you want to do. This is your website, all right? The power is yours. Let me know what you think. If you got questions, definitely drop them inside the comments. Now with this, we could create our own custom experience. We can make it our brand, an experience for us while we are building the site because we're the ones using it. So have fun with it. I hope to help out. And you might notice, well, different backgrounds and a tan. That's because I'm traveling, bouncing around islands right now, but still, I got more content coming up and I will be back inside my studio soon. So make sure to do all that good YouTube stuff, you know, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It does help to support the channel and I'll be back soon with more web design and Elementor related content. All right. Thank you for watching.